Hey everybody, welcome back to Ready Steady Play. We're playing uh, Mansions of Madness. I'm Agatha Crane. This is Ben Diamond. Hello. And we are just exploring the shed. Unbeknownst to us, a lone zombie is shambling around outside. It's probably not a big deal, but who knows when more may show up. I'm wondering if they sort of come like in random numbers and we we're just really unlucky to get three early on. Maybe. I think it's sort of supposed to start with three to yeah, increase the sense of, of panic. Exactly. Which worked. It did work. That was a lot of panic. Yeah. So. So here's what I want to do on my turn. I want to heal myself with these bandages, and I also want to uh, explore that shotgun option. Okay. So probably heal first. Yeah. Um, do you, Shall I go first, though? Yeah. I'm just going to punch a zombie. Cool. So I'm going to uh, discard these bandages to heal two face down. So I shuffle these back into the deck. And I'm alive for the moment. Now, I've got a light source here, so exploring this shotgun option should be fairly... Uh, I do like the idea of having the 2 by 4 because we can use it to brace a door. Mm. I think these are the ones you can come to the other side of. I uh, have a look at yeah, that to barricade, which is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I mean, I don't know what good it would be barricading ourselves in this shed, though. Well, we can have a really fun time just hanging out in the shed with... Are you trying to say that uh, Agatha and Joe could have a moment? Maybe. In Im in imminent death. <laughs> I mean, we've got nothing left to lose. And, and Joe's like, but well, what about Wilbur? And she's like, I may never see him again. <laughs> That's Wilbur. My husband. Oh. Really? Oh, I thought you had a read. Oh my god, you have a really good memory. I just did not get that. I'm impressed. So yeah, no, not 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 if you're not single, bro. Yeah, that's fair. But we might die. <laughs> we might never feel the touch of another human again. I mean, I am halfway to insanity, so. <laughs> Here we go. A shotgun lies across the work counter. I mean, yeah. search. You examine the shotgun to see if it is still in working order. Observation. Oh, good thing you're doing this. Ta. Blending. I think I'm going to spend a clue token just because <laughs> I've got so many. That's and I want this to go well. Three successes. <laughs> oh, you, you sight along the barrel and feel the heft of the gun in your hands. Based on what you know of firearms, it seems to be working well in, in well enough condition. Gain the shotgun, common item, and discard the search token. Shotgun. Can I have the shotgun? Because that would be so sweet. Ah! You can have oh. shriveling. <laughs> you like, can shrivel. But I can't use shriveling. I ain't got no law. Huh? I ain't got no law. Do you want a sledgehammer? No, I want the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so give Ben the shotgun. Uh, <laughs> place your votes on Twitter now. Hang on. Votes are coming in. Votes are coming in. Votes are coming in. They don't Dude, want me to. No, give, no, no one, they don't no one even me. follows our Twitter. They don't want. You, they don't want me to give you the shotgun. It says here. Do we even have Twitter. a Twitter? It says neither. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do we even have a Twitter? At <laughs> RSP Network on Twitter. Uh, mostly it's just uh, announcements of episodes coming out. But uh, who knows? I might tweet something interesting one day. So keep an eye on it. If you're on Twitter, follow me. If I had more followers, I might be more inclined to tweet stuff. Also, um, react to stuff that's being tweeted at me. Because I like to get involved when people are talking. I just don't see a lot of people talking. It's sad. Um, okay, well, it's your turn. Are you going to try to take the shotgun off me? <laughs> well, I mean... Shall we roll a little post-strength check? <laughs> I can give you this pickaxe. Um, yeah, right. I mean, that would actually make more sense for me to have it, right? Yeah, I'll take the sledgehammer. Okay, so I'll give you the shotgun and the shot sledgehammer, and I'll take the pickaxe. I mean... <laughs> With a single hard swing, the tool's head pierces deeply into even the hardest materials. Ow. I'm very happy with the shotgun. Should I take the 2x4 as well while I'm here? I couldn't spend that clue token. No, I could because I have a light source. Yeah, I have a light source. I'm going to take the uh, the 2x4 as well. 
That's okay. my two actions. If that zombie comes in here and kills me, I'll be sad. Nah, you'll be fine. That's what you say. Um, okay, cool. So we are done. That's it. Our whole turn. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. In the investigator phase, time for the meat hoss phase. Agatha Crane thinks she sees a shadowy creature stalking towards her. <laughs> Willpower too. It's actually just me. That is... You're going to need to spend a clue there. It's okay. I will spend a clue. If she passes, she realizes that it was just a trick of the light. It was a trick of the light. And she doesn't run away from the shed. Uh-oh. A shambling figure becomes visible in the night. Spawn a zombie, as indicated. Oh, God. Is it red? Hi. Oh, hi. Hi there. Oh, oh, God damn. The front of the chapel is beset by a walking corpse. Spot a zombie as indicated. It's okay, we've got a shotgun now. So oh, yeah, I can shotgun people. I'm relying on you to do all the shotgunning. Note the range is only one rather than three, like a lot yeah, of range weapons. I know, I know. I'm fine. But it does do six damage, which is amazing. Do we have the green ID? Yeah, I bet you need observation to shoot it, though. I would have been great with that. No. It's agility. Well, maybe you're right. Huh. Okay, here we go. Normal zombie. The guy already on the board. There's one toward the nearest investigator within no, range. No, no investigators within range. And there's one towards the nearest investigator. How does it know? It just smells us. Uh, red zombie. The corpse catches the scent of blood and suddenly charges with a terrifying fervor. The zombie moves two spaces toward the investigator within range... Who has suffered the most damage? No, within range. No, this is within range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There, the hiding in the shed the was a was, good chap. This is a very good idea. Uh, okay, so the green zombie moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. There's none within range, so one towards the shed. Yeah. Good. Uh, each investigator must resolve a hard check against the monster within range. There yeah. are none. We're fine. So, uh, we continue. And the investigator phase. Okay. That's true. It is t uh, back to the investigators. We should definitely bust out and shoot some stuff. I think, yeah, you should probably just go out there and shock on that guy, right? Yep, I'm going to do that. Leroy! Hey, zombie. I'm going to shoot you in the face with a shotgun. Cool. So that's our, uh... This, all this exciting stuff is happening here. Yep. You can't see it there, but don't worry, because it's right here. I like how they've sort of like not put all the interesting icons on the board, so you yeah. can't just play the app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, they, if, if the zombie and the, your man was here, you might as well just not, not have the board game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting sort of And it's nice they didn't put the dice rolling. They made the dice rolling. Yeah. But that's cool. dice rolling. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I feel much better about rolling dice in real life than I always do in a video game. Yeah, because yeah. you, you, no, so you can't really have a real random number generator. It's kind of like a truly random yeah. one. Okay, attack. I'm using a firearm. The level of your weapon and filling the air with lead. Agility too. I really hope I got this. Yeah. Oh, you so got it. <laughs> okay. Um, some if you pass, some of your shots catch your enemy in the shoulder and it whirls around, falling to its knees. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage. So, six. Yeah, I can't deal at six because it's dead. <laughs> Art. <laughs> As your foe falls, you're surprised to find a string of numbers written in a neat ha hand on part of its exposed bone. These are like sort of not your traditional zombies, are they? No. They've been like constructed in they, a lab. They or something. know stuff. Okay, gain one clue. I might. Hmm. So you I'm can't. Got, you've got one move left. I think. Uh, Move away or move... So, my concern is that there's a piece of paper sticking in the mud here. Right. And we're looking for a piece of a journal. That's true. There was a piece of paper there. Okay. No, don't go... Oh, you. well, I suppose you could go there. I was thinking maybe you go here and fend off these zombies while I go look, check it out. Because I can get there and look at it this turn. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, cool. Good idea. Or even... Because um, that would put me within... Yeah, because if you're there... Uh, then at least we kind it. of divide them up. Yeah, that's true. I agree. Cool. Tactics. Okay, cool. Um, go check it out. I could blast him. Though. I could go like one, two, and then attack him. That's Instead of searching, that might be more prudent. Yeah, but 
These spells are mean. They do kill me. It's true. Slowly kill you. Yeah. So, one, two, search. A dirty piece of paper has become stuck to the side of the shed. Oh, yeah. So, the paper is stained brown, but you can still see if it is covered front and back with strange formulae. A lore check. My lore is five, because I am an apparent psychologist. And obviously, uh, the psychology of paper is well known to me. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I think I spend my focused. I mean, is there any difference? Well, no, there's not. I might as well spend the clue tokens, right? Yeah. yeah no, cause, cause, is it one per roll? Yeah, it's one. It's one. You can spend both of them to to get two. I can spend two. Yeah. I don't, it's not one clue per roll. I'm pretty sure it's two, yeah. Okay, so I have to spend two clue tokens for two. Okay, boom. Boom. Curse you, dice. Why else would we be getting so many clue tokens? The letters and numbers resolve them. You read it. The letters and numbers resolve themselves into complex chemical figures. Crosses and dashes after each line appear to denote failures and successes, refining a process not named by this single page. Uh, gain a clue and then discard the search token. Well, that wasn't the thing. <laughs> that wasn't the uh, answer to the puzzle. Oh mm. well. Dang. That's a clue, though. Well, that's a good thought, though, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a nice idea. Okay. Okay, well, shit, Ben. I guess we're going back to the meat house phase. <gasps> meat house phase. Something moves in the darkness. The meat house event affects each investigator in a space containing darkness. Whoa! Whoa! No effect on the left, no effect on the left. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, uh, red zombie moves one space towards the investigator within range. There's one towards the nearest investigator within range. Well, that's both of us. With the then attacks in, in its space. So we get to choose. So, yeah, we'll just make it go to me. Yeah, okay. So, once we attack. Attacks. Observation two. Read it to me. The corpse grabs at your clothing before falling, twitching at your feet. It's like... Eh! <laughs> 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 I'll get you. <laughs> Lazy zombie. Ah. Oh. oh. There's nothing you can do about that, is there? No, I can't do anything about that. Okay. If you fail, your curiosity gets the better of you, and without warning, the zombie lashes out <laughs> to damage. So I lean, I look over, You're and like, then it are goes, you ah! okay? And it's like, <laughs> meh! <laughs> okay. Um, this zombie moves one space towards the nearest investigator within range. I'll take that one, I guess. Right? It doesn't matter. It's going one space. And oh. then, no investigators in the space. Uh, one space towards the nearest investigator. So we can choose... Uh, well, let's put it behind the shed with me because I'll evade it with the uh, yeah, the pendant. That's true. And uh, then it's kind of out of the way. I could pickaxe it, maybe. Or I could pickaxe it, I suppose. Okay. Um, great, now we're both going to take our checks, though. Oh, we would have both anyway because it's within range. Yeah, it's true. I mean, does that... I mean... Yeah, you can count it. Okay. Uh, it's you know I guess like if you're even if you're on the other side of the the shed here you're kind of like backed up against it you can hear it coming oh, for you yeah, you know true. it's kind of like you you know it's there you know it's in the, it's in like the you won't feel safe if you're in the same kind of area so, so I'm gonna resolve a hard check against the green red zombie green, green zombie um, the corpse's throat lets loose a choked sobbing sound as it walks inexorably towards you the sound is a despairing echo of a forgotten human life. Suffer two horror, but you can negate that with your will plus one. So that's five, because my will is four. Yeah, you good. Nailed it. Okay, hit me. Uh, and I get a clue. <laughs> this power, this ability is awesome. Uh, okay, so you've got the red zombie. Confirm. Yeah. The dead creature emits a terrible moan. Will two. Oh, God. Got it. Nailed it. Um, if you ignore it uh, as just another horror in a long list of things that should not be. <laughs> Makes sense. Ben Diamond's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got me once with that falling trick. You don't even get me with that falling <laughs> trick as well. <laughs> so that's the end of the meat horse phase. And uh, I think that's the end of today's episode. Um, we did a bit of a long one yesterday, so we'll a little bit shorter today but uh, I hope you enjoyed that we've made it out of the shed we've got some zombies there but I think we'll be okay 
So uh, we've still got to find out what's going on. I think we just need to go back in the chapel. <laughs> I think so too. Yeah. Everything seems to be going on over there. Yeah, everything we've found outside so far has been kind of irrelevant. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, yeah, I reckon if we search those tombstone things, we'll probably just find numbers that match up to the zombies or something like that. I do feel like we should check this one out, but we'll do it next time. Yep. Well, if you want to find out what happens and what we end up doing in the end, come back tomorrow for the next episode of Mansions of Madness. And we'll see you there. Um, Oh, yeah. And subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye, everyone. Bye.